Hello. Hello. And welcome to the Mind Palace. <laughs> you might be wondering, this is the Mind Palace? I'm used to neon craziness and it being an indoor space or whatever preconception you might have had. This is the Mind Palace. This is my Mind Palace. This is everyone's Mind Palace. Because, again, the Mind Palace is not a space, though it embodies space. It is not a philosophy, though it does inspire philosophizing. It is a way of being, even though none of us are truly beings, just points of consciousness on the great cosmic fabric of the universe, experiencing itself and being itself at the same time. It's as though each one of us is a small nerve ending on the great cosmic body that is the universe. And many times we think that we are just that little nerve ending, that little insignificant cell. But each and every one of those cells is integral to the continuation and the survival of that body. So, as such, one little basement dwelling or room that I might have neoned up and said like, oh, welcome to the Mind Palace. That was just one small nerve ending of what the Mind Palace is. Because in truth, the Mind Palace is in you. You right now have the Mind Palace. Even if you don't know it, even if you don't want it, it's there. It's there in all of us. And it's, if I were to describe it in another sense, it's as though we've been confronted with a double-doored cabinet our entire lives, like a little spice drawer. And now, this spice drawer is not food, it's not sustenance, but it brings flavor to life, it brings excitement, it brings the reason of being, of living. And our entire lives, we're told, just use a left cabinet. Just use a left cabinet. Like our parents, our other friends, everyone. Our society tells us that the left cabinet is all we need. All we need are the physical objects, the things like this laptop, which I wanted to record on, but it was dead. And you want to see what this, this is, this is what my, my fucking laptop is these days. It's pretty crazy. But it decided not to work today. Isn't that great? Because I forgot to charge it. Whoops. <laughs> That's the mind palace for you. Does things without you realizing it. Because I charged it last night. And so I'm quite surprised that I guess it must have been on all night last night without me realizing it. And just died before I got to record anything on this silly thing. <laughs> so until then, just gonna have me with this little phone conversation. A little phone camera recording. <laughs> but as I was saying about the cabinet, about material objects, material desires, happiness, as though that is that is all we need. And as a child, we grow up asking our parents and other people around us, like, what about the other cabinet? What about that? Yeah, see? Confirmation. What about the other cabinet? Is there is there anything in there? And I was like, no, 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 just don't, don't bother, don't bother. Like, like they'll, they'll entertain, perhaps as a child, us reaching into the left drawer and then like doing a little left, a little right turn and maybe grabbing something in the right drawer being like, yeah. and maybe we pull something out and you're like, oh, what is the meaning of life? Oh, why are we here? Oh, what, like, what is the point of anything? <laughs> Like these questions we find in the other drawer, which is why most of us don't bother. And especially little doggies like that one. Right, Stella? 
Stella. Yes. <laughs> but we we just think that that's all that there needs to be. All there needs to be is the left drawer. Because the right drawer, with all those big questions as to the meaning and the purpose of life, what does it serve? What could it possibly serve? It's not gonna make you any money, is it? It's not gonna bring you, I don't know, any, any closer to your career goals or you meeting the love of your life. So what is the point? Right now, right now, come on, Leo. Get up on it, come on, Leo. Yes, yes buddy, yes buddy. This is the meaning of life, is to just be, but to ask questions. To not be so constrained by identification. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, Lao, Lao is, a, is a Zen master. He knows, just like, hey, I wanna lick you, I'm gonna lick you. <laughs> There's no, questioning there's no like should i lick him should i not lick him it's like no i'm going up here and i'm licking <laughs> and that is the freedom when you are allowing yourselves to ask the big questions <laughs> just like where is the mind palace where is the mind palace is with you whole time and until you see it until you finally open that right cabinet wide open you'll never know as far as you concerned as far as most adults are concerned most people that have grown up grown up and have deemed those questions unnecessary unproductive of sorts They'll just think that that's all there is. All there is is that cabinet. What, two cabinets? There's just one cabinet. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody, why are you so silly, Luca? Why are you so silly, True Party King? Or whatever the hell. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. And that's the point. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing. I'm just being. I'm just making videos and putting them out there and seeing what the hell happens. Because <sighs> this is freedom. Freedom is not giving a damn about what people might think about this video and me debating, should I put it online? Should I not put it online? I'm just gonna put it online. I don't care what happens. I don't care what mistakes might occur. I'm just going. And as such, that is what I will leave you with, is not to label everything. Because otherwise we have to label something as how we survive. Being like, this is a landscape. That is a post with an olive tree growing up it. And yeah, you can see, it's, it's solely there. It's a sapling. But is it truly? Is that a post? Is that a wood stick? Is it, it could be so many things. So why do we always have to label it? Why can't we just let it be? Just let it be. Because when it's serving its intended purpose, which is holding up the sapling, making it grow up, that's all it needs to be. That's all it ever needs to be. And just like the mind palace, is it uh, like a, a castle, a neon castle? <laughs> is it uh, uh, like the, the mental memory map thing, like a memory palace that most people are aware of, which is where the mind palace derives its name from? No, even though it embodies those aspects, it is more even I, the founder of mind palace, will ever understand. And with that, I think the wind is
is telling me to end this. <laughs> no. <laughs> down. I can't do it. I'm trying to knock it down with the wind. It's like... Whoa! Stella, you want to be in this too? Stella. Stella. Stella, over here. Stella, over here. Stella, over here. No. Hey. Stella, over here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I know, I know Leo. Yes. Come on, Stella. Stop looking. Oof. Yes. Oh, and I should probably also note that <laughs> it's not just like, oh, the mind palace is everywhere. The mind palace is everywhere <laughs> where you follow the rituals of the mind palace. That's essentially the only parameter, the only box of sorts. Even though I wouldn't even call it a box because these aren't rules. They aren't something you can break or need to twist and turn. They're just rituals. There are things that I say through experience, through feeling and knowing, that inner knowing, that eh, they seem to work the best. So if you want to do what I'm doing, my, my rituals, go ahead. Then that's as far as I can tell, that's how you enter the mind palace. Even though I don't have all of the rituals. Even though many people who follow the Mind Palace also give me other rituals. There are rituals that people who don't even consider themselves part of the Mind Palace have given me just through offhanded comments. And that, and that makes them true Mind Palace acolytes of sorts. Even if they don't want to be one. <laughs> Too bad! You are one. Congratulations. Just like me. <laughs> I might be the shaman of sorts, but you are the true master if you are willing to take up that responsibility. Thank you very much. Because that responsibility ain't easy. Saving the world is not for the faint of heart, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh boy, let me tell you, saving or embarking upon the goal, the purpose of saving the world will make everyone around you laugh, mock you, say, what are you talking about? What are you doing? And that's when you answer, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just have a direction that I'm going in and I'm going. And I'll see what happens on the other side. Because like most transformations, you never know what's on the other side of that transformation. You never know what's next. All you ever know is where you were and how far you've come. All you can do is look back and be like, wow, I went pretty far there. That's pretty great. <laughs> I did this whole hike on an empty stomach, about a 36 hour fast, hiked up to the top of this hill. And as far as I'm concerned, that means that I'm in the mind palace. So we'll see what you think being in the mind palace is. If you have any suggestions on rituals, there's a, another video that I can link to or show you a thing for and welcome. I hope you join me soon in the mind palace.